Red beans and rice. Red beans and rice. Yep, we're going to do it. We're going to do it right. We're going to stick some andouille in there. Got some andouille. I got some andouille. some andouille. I did. I went ahead and I browned off the andouille. Did it in batches so we don't steam yep. it. I rendered what little fat I could get out of there. Yeah. All right. So then we have the Trinity. The Trinity. Right? Just onion, celery, and bell pepper. I'm going to put it right back into the same pan where I did my andouille. Mm -hmm. And we're going to throw in garlic. And I like a lot, you know, I've got three or four cloves here. Knock yourself out. Do whatever you want. Yep, yep, yep. All right. This is thyme. You can use fresh thyme. You can use whole thyme. You can use whatever. I happen to have had ground thyme. So that's Which what I've got. Fine. Yep. Yep, it's just about a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of cayenne. And you can, you know what? I'd put a teaspoon. I would if put I a, <laughs> I would definitely put a teaspoon. But we've got a lot of folks around here with little baby palates. So that's we have to be true. careful. That's true. And plus, I'm going to add some Cajun seasoning. Okay. Which, you know, Cajun seasoning is just... Salt and pepper, thyme, oregano, cayenne, and they just throw it in there for you. And there, there are several good ones around. There are. Uh, I was trying to remember the name of the one I like best, but Well, I this forgot. is just off the shelf at the supermarket. Right. All right, so a tablespoon or so of dried parsley. Mm hmm Okay. And all we're going to do here is let this just do its little thing. We're going to pretend that I remembered to throw in a cup of water. As my Aunt Gert from Louisiana would say, we're going to sweat it down a little. Sweat it down a little. Right. Well, yep. you're, you're letting the flavors um, kind of begin to develop, and you're letting the moisture that's in those vegetables start to deglaze your pan right. for you. Yep. Right? So this is all you have to do. You let that go for, I'd say, about half an hour, mm -hmm. right? And then this is our kidney beans. And when we talked about this, you can use... Um, Pintos, kidney beans, red beans if you can find them. Red beans if you can find them. They were all over the place a couple or, months ago. Canned or dry. Canned or dry. These happen to be dried. I simmered them last night. Right. Yep. But you can use canned. Yep. And these go right yep. in here with everybody. And, and we're not going to go into all the folklore about... Uh, about uh, red beans and rice. But, but isn't, it, isn't it fun though? They're good and easy. <laughs> There's lots of stuff. Everybody has their own story. Mine is that they were always done on Monday because that was wash day what? and you didn't have time to do anything else. Well, mine was that it was done on Monday because you had to use up the bone from Sunday supper. And my opinion is that both of those are right. Well, I think they are uh, both right. And you serve that over rice. You serve it over rice. And this is what you have when you're ready. Can we get that? Let me get it yeah. in here. And I'll tell you, if I had a big old bottle of hot sauce, I could make myself you put, really happy. Yep, yep, <laughs> I'm with you. Get, right, get the recipe. Uh, we'll even tell you about the hot sauce. Uh, chef's <laughs> recipe, 6450 Paper Mill Drive, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37919, sending yourself a stamp envelope, or go to local8now.com.